Duramo SL o Duramo Speed? What do you suggest? Let's check it out. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Here we are guys with another video comparison. Don't forget to subscribe and to leave a like if you like this content. Got plenty of questions uh, for these two models, uh, therefore I decided to do the comparison. You can find all the video reviews uh, available in the channel if you are interested in more details, I'll leave you the link up. You have all the information related to the app, meets and also, and also the running internet. Let's get started from the specs, then we will check the condition of the uh, outsole, midsole and upper and finally I'll give you my conclusions uh, looking at the scores. As we can see from the specs, uh, the drop is different, the stack height is different, uh, the weight is different uh, and the form uh, in the midsole is different as well. While the speed uh, is lighter and um, lower to the ground, the SL has more form in the midsole and the drop. Uh, it has also the light motion, which of course increases uh, the weight. Outsole now. The outsole have uh, different uh, uh, design patterns. Uh, plenty of rubbers in both models, uh, uh, but better grip in the Doramo Speed, uh, either in wet or in dry conditions. In wet condition, I would not suggest the SL because uh, it doesn't have uh, grip at all. And um, I would suggest both models uh, mainly uh, for the road. In terms of durability, I believe we could estimate uh, similar ranges uh, for both models, uh, but I believe the Duramo Speed is a little bit more durable due to the thickness of the outsole uh, and the uh, design pattern. And already run more than 100 miles in the Duramo Speed uh, and uh, it looks still brand new. Even in terms of flexibility, I believe uh, the Duramo Speed is a little bit better because it doesn't have one piece of uh, also rubber as uh, in the SL. Both shoes has uh, neither torsion system nor uh, energy rods, uh, therefore are not rockets in terms of rest modes. Midsole now! Another difference is the foam uh, used while in the SL we find the light motion, very firm, responsive uh, and uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> Mitsu. In the Duramo Speed we have the light strike uh, foam which is still firm but uh, you can see the difference uh, uh, in the uh, test we have done with the durometer here uh, and especially in this shoe it seems to be uh, softer than the normal uh, light strike. The dimensions of the midsole are also different, especially in the heel. The Duramo Speed got a wider heel uh, in comparison to the SL and the forefoot is quite similar. The rocker in the forefoot is slightly more pronounced uh, in the Duramo Speed uh, and uh, I can feel it especially during the tempo run. So overall I prefer more the uh, midsole in the Duramo Speed because it's more comfortable, more efficient uh, uh, and more versatile uh, than the Duramo SL. Upper now. The upper are totally different, kind of stylish upper in the SL, uh, uh, much better in the Duramo in my opinion, uh, with overlay materials uh, uh, to avoid the uh, foot uh, sliding. The Duramo SL on the other hand has uh, a little bit of foot sliding, uh, especially in the forefoot, uh, which uh, I don't like. Both models are pretty warm, uh, so uh, good, especially in uh, during winter seasons uh, or in uh, cold countries. Aesthetically speaking, uh, I have no doubts I prefer the Duramo Speed because uh, the modern design and uh, the overlay material on top of the uh, mesh. And uh, because this overlay material, I believe the upper in the Duramo Speed is uh, uh, more durable than in the Duramo set. The heel counter is uh, well padded in both models, uh, but uh, in the Duramo Speed uh, we have uh, a, an extra padding inside, which is uh, kind of uh, um, comfortable. Therefore, I prefer the counter in the in the Duramo Speed, which is even better in terms of uh, uh, foot lockdown than the Duramo SL. The tanks are both comfortable and short in both models uh, and in terms of laces they are the same, uh, they are the flat and the traditional ones uh, so they hold uh, pretty well. And in conclusion, so in conclusion as we can see from my final scores uh, here, the Duramo Speed uh, got uh, higher scores uh, in almost everything and I believe the real deal breaker uh, for the Duramo SL uh, it's the light motion in the uh, midsole which is not comfortable at all. Uh, the Duramo Speed is more versatile and uh, very comfortable despite uh, the light strike. Therefore, my scores are higher in the speed uh, for the long runs, uh, tempo runs and fart leg, uh, while the Duramo SL, in my opinion, is limited to uh, short and uh, fast interval trainings, um, better if in the treadmill because the light motion is very stiff. 
I would not use uh, neither the SL nor the Speed for racing. These shoes guys are made for uh, trainings and uh, I have no doubts uh, the Speed is uh, a big deal and uh, um, value for money while the SL is a shoe that guys I tested for you but um, I would not suggest it. I hope guys it was useful as always as always don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet uh, thanks for watching until the next time keep running <clears throat> ice in my veins i've been driving this train is in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say